Tillert Strait base expansion, albeit spanning a number in base 10 and in base 2. I'll begin by expanding in base 10 the number 6,284. Number 6,284 is equal to 6 times 1,000 plus 2 times 100 plus 8 times 10 plus 4 times 1. Now this is a base 10 expansion, but it really isn't readily clear that it's a base 10 expansion. I can write it another way to show this. This is 6,284. I can write this as 6 times 10 to the 3 power plus 2 times 10 to the 2 power plus 8 times 10 to the 1 power plus 4 times 10 to the 0 power. Notice the powers or the exponents of 10 are descending. 3, 2, 1, 0. And clearly each number is multiplied by a multiple of 10. And so we see that 6,284 can be written as products of some number and powers of 10. And that's a base 10 expansion. But base expansion is not limited to base 10. We can expand in other bases as well. Let's take a look at that. Let's look at the number 17. 17 is equal to 16 plus 0 plus 0 plus 0 plus 1. And I've written it this way because 16 is 2 to the 4th power. So I could write this as 1 times 2 to the 4th plus 0 times 2 to the 3rd plus 0 times 2 to the 2nd plus 0 times 2 to the 1 power plus 1 times 2 to the 0 power. Here we have the number 17 written as a base 2 expansion. Notice 2 to the 0 power is 1. So I have 1 times 1 here which gives me my 1. 2 times 0 which gives me my 0. 4 times 0 which gives me this 0. 2 to the 3rd is 8 times 0 which gives me this 0. And 2 to the 4th is 2 times 2 times 2 times 2 or 16 and 16 times 1 is 16. This also leads into how to write the number 17 in base 2. I look at the numbers in front of the two powers of 2. They are 1, 0, 0, 0, 1. And that gives me the base 2 representation of the base 10 number 17. Notice when I write a binary number that is a base 2 number I put a little subscript here, 2, to indicate that this is a base 2 number. When there is no subscript, we assume the number is base 10. Okay, we're ready to illustrate the conversion from base 10 to binary, base 2, and I'll use the number 198. I'm going to be converting the 198 base 10 to its base 2 form using the modular operator. So I begin by writing 198 mod 2. A 198 mod 2 is equal to 0 because when I take 198 and divide it by 2 I get 99 with a remainder of 0. So the next line I write that quotient 99 and I take 99 mod 2. I take 99 mod 2, I get the remainder of 1. It's because 2 goes into 99 49 times with a remainder of 1. So I write that quotient on the next line, 49 mod 2. Now 2 goes into 49 24 times with a remainder of 1. So the quotient is 24 this time. I take 24 mod 2. 
2 goes into 24 12 times with a remainder of 0. 12 is my new quotient. It goes on the next line. Now 2 goes into 12 6 times with a remainder of 0. And 2 goes into 6 3 times with a remainder of 0. Now 2 goes into 3 1 time with a remainder of 1. This time the quotient is also 1. Now 2 goes into 1 0 times with a remainder of 1. When the quotient is 0, that's when we stop. 2 goes into 1 0 times. And we write the number in reverse order. So in reverse order we have 1 1 0 0 0 1 1 0. 1 1 0 0 0 1 1 0. So the number 198 written in base 2 is a byte. And in computer science a byte is a binary number with 8 digits. Let's check our work. So we're looking at powers of 2, remember, because this is a base 2 number. So this number is 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7 will be my power of 2. So this 1 corresponds to 1 times 2 to the 7th. This 1 corresponds to 1 times 2 to the 6th. We have 0 times 2 to the 5 and here we have 0 times 2 to the 4. Here we have 0 times 2 to the 3 power. We have 1 times 2 to the 2 power. And 1 times 2 to the 1 power. And finally 0 times 2 to the 0 power. Now 2 to the 7th is equal to 128. And 1 times 2 to the 6, 2 to the 6 is equal to 64. 2 to the 5th, well it doesn't matter because I multiply by 0, we get 0. 2 squared is 2 times 2 or 4, and 4 times 1 is 4. 2 to the 1 power is just 2, times 1 is 2. And 2 to the 0 is 1 times 0 is 0. So if we add 2 plus 4 plus 64 plus 128, we do indeed find the sum of 198. So this verifies our work is correct.